Hey guys, welcome back to Just Breathe B, and you can call me Vic B or Bat for short. Today I'm going to be talking about my trip to Canton, Mississippi for a family reunion for the Boyd Bowman side of the family. And I'm going to just share with you a few things that I went through, a few things that I experienced, and the fun things that I got to do with my family, and the new people and new faces I got to see as well. I have a very huge family. I have my notes here for just to keep my thoughts organized and together. And there's so many people that I met for the first time. I met so many aunts and uncles and cousins and saw some new and old faces. And it was just a really pleasant experience. I also had a weird experience at the hotel. We stayed at the La Quinta by Wyndham at Wingate. in Kansas is like the only one there. So it was pretty interesting. Um, I have a little story time <laughs> that I would love to talk to you guys about in another video. So that'll be an upcoming video that I do on the hotel experience. It's kind of interesting. And to say the least, or to give you a little hint, it has something to do with books. <laughs> Thursday, we went out to eat. We went out to this little Hispanic restaurant. And if you saw in the little clips that I posted before my self tape, I post a picture of my grandfather, my grandma Carol, and my grandma Carol's sister. And we ate at this really nice restaurant with them and my cousin Donovan, which is my aunt, well, which is my grandma Carol's sister's son, which is my cousin. And we also ate there with my uncle Preston and cousin Keith. And we all just had a really good time. It was a good conversation, good food. I remember I had the spinach enchiladas with uh, pico de gallo, lettuce, and sour cream with some with a sweet tea, I believe. I think it had sweet tea or Sprite or something to that effect. I can't remember my drink. <laughs> a really nice evening, good conversation, getting to know the family. It was really nice. Then Donovan, which is the yup, my cousin that we ate with on Thursday, we went to Jackson, Mississippi. And in Jackson, we had a good time, met some people, drove around. We even went to Tinseltown, Mississippi as well and went to the mall there. I have bought some things. I got my nails done, as you can see here. My little nails, they're so pretty. And then of course, I went to one of my favorite stores, Hot Topic. And I bought my favorite person's t-shirts. I bought my Machine Gun Kelly t-shirts. I got one of them for $1 at Hot Topic. This is repping mainstream sellout, you guys. So excited. I've already worn my shirts. And I got one of, one of these for 16 and the other one I got for a dollar. So if y'all want to go and patronize Hot Topic, you definitely should because they have a sale going on in Tinseltown. I'm not sure wherever else they're having the sale, but please go because they have a sale going on. <laughs> you know I'm a big MGK fan, EST for life. Anyway, after Friday, Saturday came along and we had our family reunion get together where we all got to sit down and meet each other and talk and just have eat food and have a good time, dance and just have a good time. Now the place that we had the reunion was separate from where we were staying at the hotel. So Canton was where we were staying at the hotel and in Camden was where we um, had the reunion. And the reunion took place Sabbath morning um, at, I'm not sure exactly what time, but we were supposed to leave at one, one o'clock, but we left late. We got there and we were able to get our food. We had to pay $15 for a plate and we came in, we ate, we got to socialize. I talked to one of my cousins, um, one of my uncles, Uncle Patrick. And since it was Sabbath, for Sabbath, um, I also got to meet a cousin of mine who was also Seventh-day Adventist Christian, which was really cool. I have never met her before until now and it was a great experience meeting her and her husband and I really enjoyed the atmosphere around them and around everyone else that was at the family reunion. So since we did get there late, we did not get to see the full the fullness of the service that they were having, 
but we did have a really good time socializing talking ha laughing just having a good time you know eating and one thing i have to say about the food since i don't eat catfish i was not able to eat anything but green beans and some dessert but that dessert was so good i'm a chess pie fanatic <laughs> if you're in the south you know what chess pie is and for those who don't know chess pie is a a form of dessert that's made out of egg um milk flour and a few other ingredients i can't remember off the top of my head but it's a really good dessert i think it has some pound cake too so it was it was pretty good and then me and my auntie one of my aunts we went and got taco bell later since i didn't eat as much since i couldn't eat catfish so <laughs> it was all good i was excited just to be there one other thing that i'd like to add is that the epitome of the trip which i will add in my story time I left my wallet and I went out of town. I'm going to talk more about this in my story time video that I do next. But I left my wallet. I had no cards on me, no social security, no Bank of America card, no debit card, no anything. I left everything in Memphis and I literally on, I believe Friday was running around like with a chicken with my head cut off trying to get another debit card. I Uber places, I literally was just gone trying to find a bank that would give me a physical card and I didn't even have my ID on me. So I literally thankfully had taken a picture of my ID before I came to Canton and because of that i was able to officially get a regions card and that was very helpful overall i had to pay with everything with my apple pay because and even with that like some certain places would not take apple pay and that was frustrating in and of itself so it was a fiasco i was like so stressed out and thankfully i was able to still purchase things take care of what i need to take care of for my trip and my food and things as such so it was that was a whole story time i'm definitely going to do a whole video on that on top of the hotel that we stayed at i'm going to give you a review on the la quinta by wyndham at wingate so Stay tuned for that video coming up, you guys. That's going to be a doozy. <laughs> and yeah, guys. So it was really a great trip. I really, like I said, I've been, I enjoyed it. It was good seeing people, seeing faces, uh, meeting my family. Because I have a whole other side of the family in Chicago, Denver, um, Los Angeles, and California. Other places in California. So I have people from all over in my on my dad's side of the family and on my mom's too but specifically on my dad's. So it was a really good experience and I'd love to do it again. And I hope next time we could possibly, like I pitched to my um, Uncle Patrick, maybe we could do it next time closer to me in Olive Branch or Mississippi, or we could do it somewhere in Chicago, who knows? So that's all I wanna say about my trip to Canton. If you want to see any more videos or pictures, I'm going to put them in the video, in the next clipping. And um, yeah, guys. So thanks for watching Just Breathe V. I'm having more videos coming up soon. And I hope you have a great west rest of the week, you guys. The weekend is almost here and I'm living for it because I'm tired. I need a break. I need to breathe, sleep, repeat, breathe, sleep, repeat. And I want to leave you with this. And as always, be you, do you, and love you. Bye, guys. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch, down the corridor. Hey, guys. I'm up. It's currently one something in the morning. I can't go sleep and go back to sleep. I'm tired, but we made it to Canton, Mississippi today. And here's to having a great weekend with the family. Family reunion. They got four Giados on the Tahoe. Yes. Cuz over sure. here with Let's the whip. Yeah. yeah.